I left high school and went to work to look after my grandfather. When my grandfather died, he wanted me to be a better man and he wanted me to get an education and got directed towards the TFC. I applied for a TFC because at that time, it's been a while that um, I finished my high school and I still wanted to continue the study. I applied for TFC because um, when I came from England, my A-levels didn't quite match up with what was required for studying health sciences here. I was a refugee and I never brought my academic transcript from my country. So I had to do TFC to gain university qualification to enter mainstream courses. I've been working for a couple of years, needed to get back into academic study, and I didn't have university entrance because I finished school after year 12. Chemistry and biology were very interesting subjects. I had never taken them in high school, taking them here, and learning them in quite vast lectures with someone who has dedicated their life to that subject. You know, it really fuels your own passion. I studied um, English, math, chemistry and biology. First of all, really different to how I got taught during high school period. Obviously, it's more like university style. So the students have a choice of eight courses. They go into either science or arts. In science, they can study chemistry, biology and physics, and maths and English are compulsory. And in arts, they have the choice of history and geography, and there's also a general arts course in semester two. All of those courses aim to introduce students to the basic academic skills that they need to study at university and also give them the content, relevant content, that will help them in their degree studies that follow. I thought it was going to be a lot more hard out than it is, but it definitely wasn't that. It was a lot more welcoming than what it seemed like it was going to be, and even the tutors and everything, like, now that I'm in my first year, you can see the difference, how much it transitions you. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but it was Almost like high school, but in a university setting. I thought it was just going to be one year of intense study and then getting into degree, but I mean more than that, I think I learned a lot about myself. I learned that I could do much more than I thought, because I thought I'd just come to uni, maybe do an arts degree, but I ended up realising that I could do law and go and do all these other things much more than I was expecting, and I made a lot of good friends. <laughs> we have to be independent academically. Your lecturers will look after you, will teach you, but only if you look after yourself. TFC really gives you the skills to use all of the resources that you need. You'll learn about the SLS workshops, which help you with English writing and things like that, and TFC kind of helps you into that. Uh, you've got specific courses where you have to go and use the library resources, which are extremely helpful for first year. They teach you a lot of the basic skills of essay writing and how to structure them and things, which is really good for first year papers. For me, the challenging part was dealing with the stress, but I learned how to manage my time and doing multitasking, like juggling the balls around. One of the biggest challenges that I faced in TFC was the first assignment season, you know, mid-semester tests and then your first round of exams. I wasn't really prepared for this kind of learning. I think that the biggest challenge would be socialising because I'm new to the country and I think that every international student and migrant and refugees, they do have the same issue of socialising. I think that I just overcome that issue by making more friends and I was engaging with more cultural activities. The final day when you get your certificates and all your families are there and you're all together because we know how hard you've worked to get there. But you've all been through something that's made you all come to TFC where you finally see that you've done it and that you've all made it together.